He always has the hub to upload. Yo, chill, yo, Puggy. Puggy is wow, bro. Puggy has been wow in this old stream. Chill, Pug. Chill, Pugs. Look at me. There's your boy. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and jump into our next topic of discussion, which I hope I don't get her canceled, right? I hope she's not shared on a very, or supposedly, well-known Muslim website. I think she has a story time. Let's see. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Let's go. I saw that one. It's nasty. Oh, got titties. I wouldn't do anything for men's attention for free, but if I'm getting paid, then okay. I'm Nersha. I'm 20 years old. So I got some boob shots. Growing up with my family, they were very wild, strict dog. Muslims. And they'd not allow me to wear like leggings or anything. They would make me pray all the time, and I was never allowed to leave the house either. My lifestyle has completely changed. So I've had a nose job, two boob jobs, a BBL with implants, fillers, my lips, cheeks and jaw. For my main page, I have... Hold on, let me go back to that. Why do they edit their eyes so much? It's so obvious. Coming from someone that uses Photoshop, she just focused so much on her eyes, bro. She definitely used that focus tool, bro. That, that, or detail tool, bro, just, just to like highlight her eyes. I don't know why they always do that shit and make it so obvious. And coming from someone that edits a lot of photos in her videos, seeing like sloppy work like this just pisses me off even more. This, this is me, this is me being completely honest, bro. Like I don't even care about her body, bro. The fact that her editing on this photo is just so sloppy right there. Like you could do a little bit better job. Like come on now. Cheeks and jaw. That and agitates me though. I have like just pictures of myself in lingerie naked, but I also do sex scenes. I do BJ scenes. I went from yeah, this is wild. Muslim to an OnlyFans model. Yo, fellas, we may have to do some research after this if you get what I'm saying, you know? I don't know. I'm just gonna take a few pictures now. I always try like different angles and get as many pictures as I can. And a lot of girls do things, send nudes for free. I don't like, you have to pay me to see my nudes. For my main page, I have like, just pictures this is of wild, myself bro. in lingerie naked. But I also do sex scenes. I do BJ scenes, like a proper porn, porn hub. Like I do solo scenes, I use toys. So altogether I've made $280,000 on OnlyFans. I'm gonna be with that's not that impressive. That, that's really not that impressive for an OnlyFans chick when it comes to her being. Let's see. Oh, well, she didn't even have that much views on the video herself. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, I don't think that's impressive numbers, though, for an OnlyFans chick. I, I don't think I would do that for 280K. I would at least be happy to make a couple mil a year. And if I'm gonna sell my soul, bro, like these chicks. I'm going to make a couple million, dog. It's not going to be no 200K. Like, that's, that, that's, no. Got some boob shots. So, for example, this guy spent over £1,157 on me. That's one of thousands. That's wild. Like, a lot more. Super I version. I spent my money on traveling, cosmetic surgeries, like, obviously, beauty stuff, apartments and everything. Oh, shit, my nipples are showing. Just like free content for you. <laughs> My lifestyle's completely changed. Money's not important to me. It's just the freedom of what I can do. I can go and hold. Bro, that little fucking co bro, her eyes are bothering me so much, dog. Like, bro, why? Like, it, it's so many cosmetic things going on, and you just decide to put the contacts on and just go really heavy on the eyes, bro. That agitates the hell out of me, dog. It's not important to me. It's just the freedom of what I can do. I can go on holiday. I can live where I want. It's mad annoying. It got me the finer things in life. So growing up with my family, they were very strict Muslims. And they'd not allow me to wear like leggings. There you go. That, that makes sense. It's always the strict parents that get the children that rebel. You cannot make this up. Nine times out of ten, bro, all of these peace stars had strict parents that just didn't let them do anything. And that's why you got to have balance when it comes to your daughter, dog. Like, you do. Or she's going to end up like her and I'm going to make a video. 
leggings or anything like that. I'd always have to wear jeans and I'd have to wear tops like covering my hands. They would make me pray all the time. I would always after school go to a mosque and obviously I'd always have to at home read the Quran as well. And I bro, those eyes, bro, are annoying, dog. It don't look as bad as the other videos in her photos, but yo, those eyes are annoying. Those contacts, bro, they're pissing me off. As well, and I was never allowed to leave the house either. My mom would never let me go out with my friends. It made me feel like they were forcing me to be a Muslim, and I didn't ask to be a Muslim, but obviously I, that's. This what is I wild, wanted. bro. Yeah, I was actually born in Bangladesh, and I flew to England when I was five years old. It was a council estate I lived in. I was like eight or nine, and that's when the sexual abuse happened. And then, oh my God, this tears. <laughs> Sorry. Another thing, it's always sexual abuse that also happens, bro. Like, what women don't understand this, but as soon as they get, like, sexually abused, something mentally goes on in their head to where they also turn, like, hyper-sexual, meaning that they just always, you know, are themselves becoming, like, sex objects. Like, when, once they get, quote-unquote, hard art by someone or possibly abused by someone, then they really just go down this path, bro, of just horribleness, dog. Like, that sucks. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> I didn't even know what sex was. I just thought it was, like, normal. Obviously got the social workers and stuff involved and police involved, and that's when my life dramatically changed. I had to leave my family home on the same day. I, I couldn't even see my sisters. I, would just, I just saw my mum for a bit. And then I went into a foster home on the same day and I didn't, I didn't see my family for a year. It feels horrible. No, 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 let me also say this though. I get it. Um, yeah, people do go through struggles and whatnot. People do go through trauma. People do get, um, you know, touch in a sexual way, but that also does not excuse your behaviors as a well grown adult. You know what I mean? I can't blame my decisions on what I do in my life based on what happened in my past when I was a kid. And I know it's extremely horrible to say it that way. And I know people are going to take that the wrong way. People that also had traumas, bro. I personally had traumas that I don't talk about, but I don't use that as an excuse on why I went down like a bad path or a path related to my traumas. For instance, let's say my dad died of like crack cocaine. Okay. And then I then go on to be a drug dealer. And I use that same excuse to me watching my father die as a reason to why I ended up the way I am. That's, that's not how reality works. That's unfortunate. It's what it is. Well, to be honest, thinking about it, I'm quite emotional. <laughs> when I was 18, um, I had two jobs. Uh, I worked in a restaurant for five pounds an hour. You should have sort of kept it like that. Only fans, because I was like, I thought it was like prostitution stuff, because I didn't know much about it. I saw a girl. Hold on, hold up. She got a she got a BBL, bro. But it's not even that good looking, though. Hold up. That's that's like average, bro. Like, did she really pay for that? Chat, is that is that not an average ass? That is wow, bro. Like, yo, she paid. Thousands of dollars for surgery, bro. That that ass looks so average. Because I was like, I thought it was. Yeah, if you're gonna get a BBL, like, at least make the shit pop. It was like well, institution stuff because I didn't know much about it. Scallywag, bro. Like, Straight up scallywag, man. Yeah. And they were smashing. But that shit looks. But that shit looks horrible, bro. Ain't no way she got a BBL, dog. Ain't no way she got a BBL. Ain't no way. Yeah, she need to get that refund back pronto. That is wild. Bruh, that BBL is fucking average. Like, right, what do I do? Go back to Middlesbrough. That is wild, dog. And do... She didn't even look thick. She look, she got nice ass, but bro, it's not no BBL ass. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? There's BB... No, there's like... This is like little B. <laughs> this is little double BL, bro. Little double BL here. This ain't no BBL, dog. Couldn't be. Do my job five times an hour, or do I she do got fucking finesse and make a better life of myself? So I was like, I'm gonna start doing OnlyFans. I need to make a exposed video of her surgeon, dog. That's what I'm gonna do. Expose her damn surgeon. He did a horrible job.
So I've had a nose job, two boob jobs, a BBL with implants, fillers on my lips, my cheeks and jaw. Bro, her, bro, I'm t her fucking eyes, chat. These eyes piss. Like in that photo, bro, that agitates me so much, bro. Like, why did you just Photoshop the hell out of your eyes like that, dog? Like, that pisses me off. I get she has contacts, but the fact that she just focused on her eyes, bro, I, it's, it's making me mad, bro. Me, her, me, her. We got a box in Minecraft, dog. I gotta say Minecraft so I'm gonna get banned. We got a box in Minecraft for that fucking edit. My cheeks and jaw. That's I do wild. have a limit to stop having surgery and... Uh yo, Unbound, what up, what up, bro? We're just... Yo, this chick has a horrible BBL. And she uh, is making excuses on why she's doing OnlyFans. That's what's going on. Summary. Um, I think I've got everything I wanted to achieve in my body. I just want another BBL. This is a type of street that I grew up in and um, there's a lot of like Asian shops and fruit markets and everything. You can get halal meat from there. <laughs> when I was in the Asian community, um, there'd be Asian wedding like every three months and like it'd be massive and I'd meet, I'd see all my Asian friends and I'd love dressing up and stuff. So I do miss <clears throat> I guarantee she goes to that flea market, bro, just so she can get attention from all the men around her. Like, there, there's no reason why she's going to a flea market. She doesn't even have to leave her house, especially dressed the way she is. Let me see. Um, there's a lot of she has cleavage out. Shops and fruit markets and everything. You can get halal. Like, why is a woman like this that looks like this going to a flea market, especially dressed like this, right? We already know she likes attention like that. I guarantee she's doing it. <clears throat> so she can get the attention from the quote-unquote villagers in her eyes. Guaranteed. <laughs> when I was in the Asian community. Um... Yo, Puggy says Scallywag origin story, Marvel Comics, dog. Yo, this is this is facts. This There'd is facts. Asian wedding like every three months, and like it'd be massive, and I'd meet, I'd see all my Asian friends, and I'd love dressing up and stuff. So I do miss it. Yeah, we know I you like dressing Asian up. Wedding as well. I want to wear a lenga, so whoever I end up marrying, like they'll have to accept that. Yikes, yo, chat, who's going to tell her? Mary? Who you going to marry? Yo, I, I, I don't know. I don't know about that one, big dog. Talking about some damn marriage. That's Asian wedding, so. That's actually wild. It's really hard being a South Asian and doing OnlyFans because I don't have that um, supportive system around me. Like my family and community and all that see as a bad thing. And what was your mum's reaction like? Um, she was upset, obviously. I don't understand course. from her perspective. She no, doesn't understand from my perspective that it's a safe way to do what I do and like I'm not hurting anyone. My community, none of them speak to me and I get messages all the time as well, hate messages. Whenever they see my mum, they just keep reminding my mum that I keep doing it. And I just think, why would you do that? Why can't you just let me live my own life without harassing my mum? It, it's like they want their parents to just automatically stop caring about their own child. That's just not how that works. If I had a son, right, or a daughter in this case, if I had a daughter and my daughter was doing something stupid, it's just impossible for me to just turn off my emotions and not think about my daughter and not tell her she's wrong. I will tell her she's wrong until the day I die, that I don't approve of what she's doing. I, you cannot give up on your kids as a parent. And I think people need to understand that. That's impossible for you to tell your mom and or your parents, like, yo, just stop caring. Your parents aren't going to not care. They're not going to just stop caring about you out of the blue. That's not how that works. So you need to be... Uh, I'm telling you, they're fucking kids. This is something that I, I think a teenager doesn't understand. It's a fucking basic concept, especially at your age. You should know this. Extremely simple to get. Let's see. It's all for the looks and intention. Bag of rich dude. The desperation is real. Yeah, for sure. What person in their right mind would think this was a good idea or healthy in any way, bro? I don't know, man. Yo, Unbound Soul, I be seeing you everywhere, bro. You are everywhere. I think I saw you in Mr. Moments uh, live chat one time. Base Chris, bro. Like, you're really in the small um, Red Peel community space, bro. I see you everywhere, dog. Big shout out to you, though. I do love my culture. It's just, um, I feel 
feel like people mix up between religion and they ruin it, um, bringing their own rules in, saying it's religion when it's not, it's just culture. When I have a daughter, I won't force religion. When I have her. a daughter, I will introduce it to her, and if it's something she wants to believe in, she can. It's something she wants to believe in. See, her poor family, she failed her GCSEs and got kicked out. She lying.